is me and welcome back to the stable renovation series. I think we're on episode three now of the new tack room. So if you haven't seen the last one where I created this beautiful background that you can see now, I'll leave a little eye card above so you can watch that first, just because I don't wanna give you guys any spoilers. But anyway, We've been rather busy here for the new tack room. I've been thrifting again and I've actually got a new chest of drawers that I'll show you later. But actually something that I did yesterday that has made it look so different in here is some painting. Yes, I did even more painting. So the back wall that you guys might know when this used to be the feed room where I made all the feeds up had this sort of wooden, very rustic looking wall. And um, it's always kind of bugged me that the wood on the wall and the wood on the countertop were different. So it's something I've wanted to paint for such a long time. And also the wood isn't really the same color as the furniture I have. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna paint it. And I really struggled choosing what color I was gonna paint it with. I, at the um, store that we went to, they basically, in the sort of type of paint we wanted, either had a dark gray or this really nice olive color. And I was really like umming and ahhing. And for ages, I did a poll on my Instagram story and it was 50-50. In the end, you guys with 51% chose the dark gray, which at first I was like, oh my goodness, this might be a little too dark. What have I done? But actually it looks so good. So um, here's some footage of me yesterday when I painted the back wall. What you want? looking like oh my goodness I even did the um, underneath as well and also the sort of wooden parts here too and it looks so good it honestly looks like it's part of someone's kitchen in like London or something if you know what I mean um, at first I was really worried that this is going to be dark but I have an idea of how I can brighten it up so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you'll know that when this was the feed room I had loads of rose gold horseshoes going across and I thought to go with a lot of the picture frames I have a lot of the mirrors I have that I'm going to put up here they're all in like a really old-fashioned sort of bronzy gold color so I was thinking I've actually got some spray paint that I can spray paint the horseshoes in that color put them along here and I feel like the horseshoes are going to really pop so much against this dark gray as well this gray also is almost the same color as my helmet so that makes me really happy because you guys know me Love a good bit of matchy matchy. Also the gray ties in with the sort of gray around the stable. So when you walk in here, it's not like totally different as well. Like obviously the floor's gray. So there's quite a lot of gray, but don't worry. We're gonna brighten it up soon. I've got something very exciting to show you in a sec. But first I thought I'd show you my chest of drawers because I am absolutely in love with them. Okay guys, I promise that this is still an equestrian channel. It's not Bargain Hunt or Antiques Roadshow or in America, I'm pretty sure you guys have American pickers. You know, this isn't a DIY channel either. It's a horse channel. Doesn't quite feel like it at the moment, but oh my goodness, this chest of drawers, I fell absolutely in love with and I was going around the charity shops and things. So I'm glad that the money goes to a good cause, but this, I'm pretty sure it's Edwardian and is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, if I get a house one day, then this, like, I'd, I'd, I'd love to have this in my house. Like, I might steal it from my tack room, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I love the, um, obviously, the detailing on it. And also, I love how there's little drawers at the top. Like, I was looking at this and the guy was like, I don't know what you'd fit in there. And um, he was like, you could probably put socks in there. And I was thinking, oh, I could put my gloves in there, like my riding gloves. Um, didn't say it was for a tack room because I thought that'd be a bit strange. Um, but yeah, this one's like a really nice size. I can maybe put hat silks in. So lots of organization that's gonna be very satisfying and a lot of thinking about as well how I'm gonna put things where. But the next thing I'm gonna show you, I am way too excited for, and that is my saddle pad organization. We're now in the corner where my saddle pad collection, obsession, whatever you'd like to call it, is going to go. I've even done an extension, so um, just in case 
any more come up into the collection in the future, but here it is. We have a towel rail. I went for a white one, so then you can't actually see it that much. That's why it's kind of camouflaged and hidden. I've also used um, extra long screws because I want to make sure that it can withstand the weight of the whole collection obsession. Um, but yeah, the, now I'm, I'm getting too excited. Now I'm gonna go and grab all of my saddle pads, probably gonna put them up in rainbow order again as well and put them along here. But wait, we're not finished yet because I have even more saddle pad storage. Because if you go underneath here, you can't see it, but there's also a rail here. So if there's an overflow of saddle pads, I've got room for them. Okay, time to go and grab them. are now all up and oh my goodness it made it's made me realize how many i have like before it was just kind of in there didn't really think about it but to physically one by one put every single one up there must be at least there must be around 40 50 here i don't want to count i know somebody in the comments will tell me how many there are i don't want to know um but yeah i'd like to say a huge thank you to lumia obviously um, a lot of these were gifted by them um a normal equestrian doesn't need more than like eight saddle pads like this is definitely excessive <laughs> but um it's my job and I'm really lucky to say that, so thank you. Um, and thank you for watching because you guys are the reason that this is possible. If I could show like 15 year old Esme how many saddle pads I'd have in five years time, her, her brain would explode. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's actually getting a little darker now. The, uh, the lights, um, we do have them but they're not working because this is like one little bit the electrician needs to do to actually get them working, working, if that makes sense. So um, before it gets too dark, I don't think I'll be able to move my boots in until tomorrow. So I'll see you guys with tomorrow as me. That'll be very excited about putting all of my uh, boots, gloves, hat silks, ear bonnets away, all organized in my new chest of drawers and wardrobe. It's now a new day and this is probably going to be the last look you guys see of the old tack room. I was going to say in all its glory, but it's really not looking great. The last couple of days, um, it's been quite weird kind of having two different things in two different places. And if I'm being honest, I haven't really tidied things in here because I'm like, it doesn't need to look pretty. I've just been chucking head collars everywhere, grooming brushes. It is an absolute mess. Um, but now it's finally time to move a few of my head collars and my boots and things all into the new room. Bags packed, things are moving fast, heading west on I-10, leaving Arizona. No catch, never looking back, but I think that I can see where I'm going. I, again, did not realize how many head collars, or I know a lot of people call them polters, in the UK we call them head collars, but um, we have quite a few. Um, yeah, so I decided at the top I would go for all the pinky, purpley, ready colors, and then at the bottom we have all the blues and greens. Um, then I have all of the horses sort of more neutral head collars, so I have a navy one here. Then I have their leather ones, and look how tiny little Duke's one is. Mickey's had collar, his leather one, he actually chewed and broke it, so I do need to get him a new one. Although, um, I do have quite a lot, they're all in cob, so there aren't actually many that fit Mickey's size. Um, and then I have these little stragglers at the end that I didn't really know where to put them, because these, these actually all go together really nicely. They're all very autumnal colors, so going with the season. Um, but I've run out of hooks now. I could kind of 
maybe hang them like this. I don't know, I'll, fi I'll find somewhere for them. I definitely have too many, too many head collars, but there we go. Actually, that looks a little neater. I feel bad putting Jukes at the back. His can go at the front. Yay, okay, I'll find somewhere for those. They do look a little messy, but it's not looking too bad. I'm quite liking it. I, at first, was a little hesitant about the color of the behind, although this color actually goes really nicely with the bluey-greeny head collars. The ones up here, that blue, because it's a little dark here, you, doesn't really pop that much, so it doesn't really be like all color clashes. It actually looks nice, quite nice. I didn't really want to paint them because obviously it's got the vintage style to it. I was thinking maybe going like a dark gray or the same blue as my Voltaire wall, but no, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. We're getting there, guys, obviously. As days goes along, I might look at it and be like, mm, might switch the colors around or things like that, but I'm happy with it now. And I think the next thing we're gonna do is go and grab all of my ear bonnets, hat silks, and the horse's boots and put them in my chest of drawers. Hello, everybody. I have my chest of drawers mess here that I'm gonna be putting into my new chest of drawers. Um, I don't really know where to start with this. I think I might go gloves and then hat silks or hat silks then gloves. I'm just gonna grab stuff and see what I find. So uh, this could be the glove drawer. Organization, okay, that's for future Esme to think about. This is gonna probably be the hat silks drawer. Um, where do I even start? Okay, so these are all the Charles Owen hat silks. I'm just gonna pop them over in this corner or like my ones that have my logo on. Um, so they can go over there and then I think I might do like rainbow ones that side and then do like my ones this side. I'm gonna go for boots. Will that go over that bit? Yes, it will. Oh, nice, it props it up too. And are some of my boots a little bit dirty? <laughs> yes. Should I have probably have cleaned them before putting them in here? Yes, but they're gonna get dirty anyway. So I'm gonna try and put them in here. I feel like they're gonna roll around a bit. So I'm really gonna stuff up the chest of drawers. You can also see how, yes, this is like a really old chest of drawers. There's a little crack here that I might need to fill with some like wood filler kind of thing. But it, it'll do, it's doing well, it's holding strong. <laughs> I'm just gonna be putting all of my show ear bonnets or fly veils in here. I thought this would be a nice little area just because there's less of them and I felt like they're all gonna fit in this drawer really nicely. I actually have some shelves here. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put in here yet. I could actually fold up like my horse's like travel rugs maybe and put them here. I don't know, obviously there's a lot to think about. I might switch things up as I go along, but for now I thought the ear bonnets would go in here really nicely. All right, so this is what the wardrobe is currently looking like. I have all of my body protectors and my back protector, my shadow, here at the front, because that's probably the one I use the most. Um, then I have my clippers here, and then I have my grooming kit, or one of my many grooming kits. And now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna put up here, because it's quite narrow, or like low down. I'm not really sure what's gonna fit here. I'm sure I'll find something, but so far I'm filling it up nicely. I have two more drawers left of bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go look in the old tack room, see what's left because it is, it's still messy in there and there's still lots of stuff that I need to tidy up. All right, so I have now filled the wardrobe. I'm gonna go into more detail about what's in what compartment in the final tour for you guys. But anyway, here I actually have, these are some old wine crates and I thought they were so cute. 
This tack room, as you can tell, is very um, reuse and recycle. So here they are. And I thought for a little bit of a feature wall, for something a little bit different, I could put my boots in them. Now, I was really worried when I bought these. I was like, oh no, what if the boots don't fit? Of course I could have put something else in there, but they fit in perfectly. Wait, I'm just gonna click that in. But they fit absolutely perfectly, obviously like, they're kind of in the position where when I'm riding, when my heels are down, so that's why they're kind of slanted. They obviously have boot trees in to keep them as nice as possible. But look, look how good it looks. Maybe with some like lights on them and things as well. It's gonna look awesome. And talking about lights, we don't quite have the electrics done yet. That will be done very soon. But for some sort of feature lamps, um, I, this is like one of the only things that I've kind of bought that's brand new because I thought, don't really want to be buying secondhand electrics. That's a little bit dodgy. Do not want to start a fire. Um, so I have bought some really cool light fittings. These are very sort of industrial. So um, I thought these bulbs are really cute. They're definitely a bit of a feature. And I thought, you know, either side of my um, helmet rack, that would look really cute. Um, there's lots of different bits I need to open up. I haven't actually looked through here. They arrived not that long ago. I've also gone for brass fittings. So everything is gonna um, be color coordinated because everything has sort of brassy accents on. Um, so if you can imagine this up on the wall with the really cool big bulbs on, it's gonna look awesome. All right, so we now have my favorite mirror. I've got to say, I've got three mirrors in here. I know it's a bit excessive, but it makes the room feel so much bigger. This is probably my favorite just because it's the most grand one. This is also the most grand piece of furniture. So it's just like, boom, the first thing you see when you walk in. I love it. However, this is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna use some window cleaner, um, give it a bit of a wipe down and see what it looks like after. Right overhead, and I guess I love to watch the way you make me into a mess. All right, guys, it's now a new day and today is all about horseshoes. So I kept all of the rose gold ones from my old tack room or old feed room. I'm really getting confused with the different names of, because they're both sort of in limbo at the moment. They're both like half and half. But anyway, I have all the old rose gold ones and the plan is to spray paint them in the bronzy goldy paint. So it matches the rest of the room and so it's a little bit different as well. So it looks brand new. Um, but what I actually very cleverly did when I put them up in the old feed room is I um, made sure when I put them up, I had exactly one horseshoe apart. So if I did want to put more up at a later date, I would know. So I've just counted all of these. I have 11, so I need to do probably just like a little bit more than 11, just in case, um, with some new horseshoes. Now I have a, didn't really realize how big my horseshoe collection was. I have a whole, bucket full of horseshoes that are kind of old and rusty so I'll be picking the nicest ones so the next thing you need to do is try and get all the rust off the old ones get them looking good and then it's time to get the spray paint which is going to be so satisfying spray them all down and see how they turn out after obviously this is the before this is the after um but they're looking so good now obviously i could make them a little less rusty if i use the angle grinder like i have before in the past but i thought they're going inside they're not really going to get rusty and once i've painted over them they're going to be fine also like this is what they look like in the rose gold kind of before and after from back when i painted these ages ago but now i'm going to put these all outside on a bit of cardboard and spray them down So 
So I actually have two different colors here. One is more of a bronze and one's more of a gold. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna prefer because obviously the gold is a lot more shiny and the bronze is a bit more of a warm color and it's a little bit more matte or, yeah. Anyway, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like. So I'm gonna, um, I sprayed a bit on the cardboard. This one definitely reminds me a bit more of the rose gold. Uh, when this one's more kind of yellowy. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna spray two horseshoes to two different colors and then I'm gonna pick which one I like the most and then do the rest all in the same color. Let's go bronze first. Ooh, I think I might like that one more. That's really nice. I feel like this is just gonna be too yellow. Like it's kind of like a weird fake gold. Hmm, oh, this is so tricky now because this is a really pretty color, but I don't know if it's just gonna look too similar to the like rose gold and how it used to be. I might need to go and get like one of the frames and see which color it matches most. Cause I feel like, although that's a prettier color, I think this is gonna pop way more on the dark wood. Ooh, it's tricky, it's tricky. Okay, so I know that they're both very similar colors. I've actually gone back up to the tack room, I had a look at the mirror that they're gonna be next to, and it's definitely more of the sort of yellowy gold rather than the bronze. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. I also think this color's gonna pop a little bit more against the sort of darker background. The bronze is really nice, and I might do a few extras to sort of put here and there around the tack room because the bronze does go really nicely with the light fittings. I don't know, the light fittings are kind of like an in-between color, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna go all out. We're gonna go for the shiny one. Although looking at them on the horseshoes, they don't, they look the sort of same amount of shiny, which is good because I didn't want it to be like too in your face, like too much. But I think, I think it will look good. I think it will be okay. It won't be like, oh my goodness, what has Esme done? Like the whole thing is just really bling bling. That wasn't the, that's not the look I'm going for. But I think with a bit of this on, I think it'll look fine. It'll look nice. The horseshoes are now painted and I think they're gonna look so good. Um, I also did three in the more bronzy color. I'm really happy with the color I chose because these do look very similar to the rose gold and I wanted it to be a little bit different to show, you know, it's not the old feed room anymore. Um, but anyway, I'm going to tomorrow, hopefully by the time uh, tomorrow comes around, these will be dried, put them up, in the new tack room, I also have lots of other little bits and bobs that I need to add to it. For example, um, I've ordered some like industrial fairy lights, if you know what I mean. So they're gonna look really cool in there. Also when the lighting's done and all the light fittings are on there. I also have lots of other little bits and bobs like paintings, photos, pictures I want to put up on the walls to give it that sort of chaotic look in a good way um but anyway you guys i hate to be that youtuber or that person but to see the finished product i'm gonna do a whole tour i feel like just putting a little tour at the end of this video it's not gonna do the tack room justice especially as i have spent so many hours painting decorating building putting things up so don't worry coming very soon will be a tack room tour where, where i go into full detail where I've put everything and why and um, all of the storage and organization I'll go in all the drawers a really full depth tour because I know a lot of you guys have requested that but anyway before today's video gets too long I'm going to finish it off here I just wanted to say a huge thank you for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and thanks again for watching I just really appreciate it you guys are the reason that I've been able to do the stable renovation i've had so much fun doing this it's a little bit of sweet because it feels like it's going to end soon we still have the feed room to do so don't worry today i'm actually going to be buying some bits and bobs for that but anyway i'll say goodbye now bye guys <laughs>